Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curvel.com and uh, today I have a fun and useful video, I think. And uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you can actually embed video and other content into Power BI service. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to do it. There are different uh, use cases for that and I'm going to show you some of them. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in powerbi.com and what we are going to do, this is a um, report on AdWords. And uh, what we want to do is for new users that, for in, that they are here in Power BI service, we want to give them a video on how to navigate. So they will come in here, they will see the dashboard and then they say, okay, what can I do? And I did actually a video on the Power BI service a while ago, just, you know, for business users, what can I do? And one of the things that you could do is to actually embed this video in the dashboard. And to do that, you just go in here to add title, video, next. We give it a title. This is uh, Beginner's Guide to Power BI Service. powerbi.com, for example. Now, uh, to embed a video, you need to have it published on YouTube or Vimeo. And I think this is a, a pity because this functionality could be used for um, sharing explainer videos that would be embedded here, that would be really, really useful. But of course, if you have to publish them to YouTube, then they would be published and that would be, not be a great idea. Uh, you can make videos on YouTube private, but if somebody has the access to the link, they will be able to see it, and I'm not sure how safe that is. So I hope and wish that Microsoft will allow to embed videos, for example, on, I don't know, OneDrive for business or something, or why not even on-premise. But for now, it's YouTube or, video or Vimeo. That video is in uh, Power BI on YouTube, so it's no problem. We are ready, we publish, and now we're going to move these up here somewhere. Let's put it there. Now, what else can you embed? You can actually embed, uh, let's do a text box. And here we just want to have a disclaimer that says this report is confidential. Do not share outside the organization, for example. And you can now make it red, make it big and make it bold. You see it here live, how it looks like it was okay. It's great. Let's perfect. We make it a little bit smaller. We don't need it that big or I'm not, no, I have to make it like that. Okay. It doesn't matter. We go up here, put it there. We can also embed images. So what you could do is, let's say, we say privacy level. You could actually have like a set of icons that tells the user this is uh, private or not. And you could set that as a company policy. And you could actually embed, again, these are public URLs. I just went online and picked something. So let's pick this, copy an image address, paste it there, and then you will get like that. Privacy level, and then here we have confidential, for example. Apply. We move it 
up here and then we make it small and we put it there. So for example, every time somebody comes in here and see these, it means that, hey, this is something that I should not share with anybody. Um, what else can you do? You can um, add web content. And here you can add all kinds of things. Uh, one of the things that you can add, for example, is a tweet. So here's my Twitter profile and uh, we could add, for example, this tweet. It's very, very simple. The only thing you do is you click in there, embed tweet, copy the code. You can choose if you want to have the images and stuff or just the text. We're going to have everything. We go in there, web content. We don't want a title, we just want to put the tweet. Apply. And again, we move it somewhere in here. I am actually speaking on the Internet of Things Stockholm Meetup. So if you are in Stockholm, I will be doing that uh, next week. It's actually a Monday, so this video will not be published by then. So forget it. Uh, but I'm actually having a Power BI user group meeting on Thursday and that the video will be published by then. So you can actually join me if you are in Stockholm, uh, go to Meetup and search for Power BI user group and we will we have a Meetup. Uh, it is uh, for beginners in Power BI. So unfortunately this you won't be able to see it. Um, what we were talking about in the beginning, it was uh, the ability to actually share explainer videos in here. I think it will be truly useful just because this has to be public is not possible, but something that could be done is to add a text box. And in here you add the link to the place where the video is at. I don't know if it's your SharePoint local intranet or whatever it is. So you have explainer oh, and then here you will have the HTTP link so people could actually go in there and click and okay this is not perfect but until Microsoft fix that if they actually do then this is a way to to share the explainer video too. So as you can do, you can do a lot of things uh, that has not to do with, well, it has to do with Power BI, but a lot of things that can complement your Power BI reports and help your users uh, both to start with Power BI and also to get a head start on reporting. So this is actually all for today. I really hope you enjoy the trick and that you start to use it right away. It's going to be very useful and I'm sure your users will enjoy it. And uh, now as usual, if you like the video, I would appreciate you press like and let me know. And otherwise you can uh, share it if you think that other people should know about it. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions, uh, comment box or the social channels that are listed below and uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great, great evening. Bye.